Hey guys, today is my day three on the Sacred Heart Diet and I'm about to work out. And today is really my sweat day. So you guys can see I'm geared up. I have on my sweat um, solar suit. And I know I said sauna suit, but hell, it feels like a sauna. But anyway, I got my solar suit. I have on the pants as well. And I have on black socks, which I told you guys that you need to wear black socks when you wear this suit. So today I am going to be working out um, for an hour and a half and I'm going to be sweating. So today is my day three and when I got on the scale this morning, the scale did move, I did drop some weight. So um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, bye. Okay guys, I am now, just got finished doing 40 minutes on the treadmill. Um, right now I'm about to get on the um, elliptical and uh, work out on the elliptical. I'm gonna do 30 minutes on the elliptical, and then um, I think I'm gonna do the bike again for another 15 minutes. But anyway, you guys know that this is my um, my day three of um, the Sacred Heart Diet. And I, as I said earlier, I did see the scale move. Um, still trying to work out hard. I'm gonna be working out every day, and I'm still trying to bring you guys a video every single day. I'm trying to bring you guys a video. So, um, one thing about this diet is that it does give you a lot of gas with all these vegetables and stuff. You have a lot, a lot of gas. And one good thing for me is that by me working out and moving, I'm able to release the gas. And trust me, I don't mind releasing it. I'm not trying to be around anybody. I might go to the bathroom if I have to. And uh, it does clean your system out, and you do have to go to the bathroom um, a lot. Um, another thing what I am doing to make sure I flush myself is the eggplant and water is where you take an eggplant, and you can actually boil it on the stove for 10 minutes um, in some water, and then uh, put it in the refrigerator to cool, and then you can drink that. You drink eight ounces um, every morning, and it causes you to um, go to the bathroom and it acts as a fat blocker and so when you take the eggplant and water it's not good to actually pass gas if you have to you actually need to go to the bathroom and acts as a flat a fat blocker um, or you can cut up the eggplant and you could just let it sit in water overnight um, and it needs to be in some kind of distilled water tap water something like that something strained something good uh, so I am uh, doing that to actually flush my system um, as well. Um, and I'm drinking plenty, plenty of water. I am drinking so much water. And before I actually put on this suit, as you guys can see, you can see my sleeves. I don't know if you guys can see that. My sleeves are soaked. And um, I have so much sweat in the inside of this thing. And um, my socks are actually... Uh, soak and wet I don't know if you guys can see that but my socks are they are soaked and um, anyway I'm drinking a lot of water today is a day where I can eat all the fruit that I like and um, all the soup uh, that I want and I'm gonna be eating a lot a lot of um, fruit another thing is I'm not getting tired of the soup because of the taste that it has from the three ounce beef that I put in I guys I know you guys see me bake a big thing of beef but uh, you know it was like it was a roast really you guys seen me um, actually do that in the oven, but I did not take that whole thing and put it in the pot. I only took like three ounces of it and um, pulled it apart and put it in there and let it cook down in there. And the taste that it gave it, oh, it tastes wonderful. So um, I'm not tired of it, you know, it tastes good. And I look forward to going home and eating it, especially with the corn and all that stuff. Um, I will tell you that um, the pepper and uh, stuff, the little bit that's in there because I really didn't have to season it or whatever but I put some pepper in there the other day that shit burnt my ass whole like crazy today um, I wouldn't suggest putting any pepper because the way that I had it at first it was already seasoned perfectly I just decided I wanted to put some pepper in there guys don't do that because this thing is going to uh, go through you if uh, you're gonna be doing uh, the Sacred Heart Diet it's actually gonna be moving stuff all in your system or whatever but if you put pepper in there, it is going to burn your asshole. So don't put any damn pepper in there. Just put all the cans and stuff in there together, and um, and that's it. Just let it rip. Uh, let's see what else did I want to add. Mm, 
So you guys know I'm exercising. Know I'm eating the soup. You know I'm getting my my fruit and stuff. I'm not tired of the soup. Um, drinking plenty of water. I I guess that's about it. But you know I guess I'll show you guys the fruit and stuff that I'm gonna be eating. But I'm gonna go and finish my workout. So I guess I'm gonna be talking to you guys later. And like I said, the scale did move and. Um, we're gonna see what it says uh, tomorrow. What I really want to do is give you guys a weigh-in on Saturday and let you guys see where I am. Um, I don't want to disappoint myself. You know, um, it might not go the way that I really want it to go, but my body does know that something is different, and I have so much energy, and I'm sleeping better. I am sleeping like a rock. I actually overslept this morning. I get up at four o'clock in the morning. And, but this morning I got up and it was like five o'clock. I am sleeping like a baby. So, but anyway, that's about it. I'm yabbling, babbling, or whatever you want to call it. So the day is my day three on the Sacred Heart Diet and the scale did move. Talk to you guys later. I love you guys. Bye.